I'm Kathleen Miner. I wrote a rap about bees. It's called Apis Millifera. And if I mispronounce science words, I'm so sorry. So last summer, I found out that I could write raps. Well, occasionally, professors for final projects, they will allow you to pick whichever format you want to present your final project in. Every time this has happened, I've tried to present my final in the form of a rap, just to see if professors will let me get away with it. They have. So this is my biology final in the form of a wrap. Enjoy. Workers are females. They gather nectar and pollen. And they're the ones to thank if you ever got stung. And male drones don't have stingers. It's mating for which they are known, with the one queen laying eggs up atop a throne of wax combs storing honey carbs and pollen protein that keep the bees buzzing right up until the spring when the nectar starts flowing and bees kick into gear and beekeepers bottle honey all the warm months of the year. But more than that, this is the life of agriculture security. 130 million years old, this is the honeybee. Came to the U.S. with a flight of Europeans in the 17th century, fleeing war and poverty, and quickly beekeepers became commercially successful, honey hives and pollinating, like a gift from the celestial. Then a decade or so back, scientists began to wonder why bees were disappearing with colony collapse disorder. That's what they named it because they didn't know why. It was happening all the time. Bees were in decline. And everyone was freaking out because bees are a key to one third of the foods we eat. You see, and there's four main reasons, the first of which is this, wildflowers disappearing under asphalt and bricks. Bees depend on pollen, but not from domestication. They like it old school and natural, not some kind of fabrication. Reason being, pollen-derived substrates feed the microbiota in the guts of the bees to keep them healthy with a quota of wild pollen flavonoids that just aren't there in the commercial. Flowers grown in labs, and that affects the internal health of the bees. Diseases begin an upsurge. Diseases are reason two for the bee declines that have emerged. Reason number three isn't complex in the least. It deals with pesticides. Monsanto sprays over leaves and fruits and flowers and everything else the country grows, and bees pick up traces until the concentration becomes a blow, a gut punch, kick to the face, and down the colony goes. 68% daily mortality is what the study showed. And bees just can't take it, even if the government knows, now to test for things that might affect pollinator growth negatively. Because see, they had some close calls in years before with neurotoxins like melathion and cypermethrene 4, the control of insects that they wanted to keep off plants. Well, bees were not intended, but it hit like second hand. Smoke. Think if you had to breathe cigarettes in all day, the lung cancer that would kill you. It's like that, in a way. Reason four is a little different. Niazian increases copper. 77 times the intended concentration, and of course the bees suffer. And the Etzian is special because it's a fungicide. The U.S. doesn't check those for their effects on homicides. Because you see, without our food, humans begin to die. And that's a capital crime. So look me in the eye and tell me I don't have to worry every time I see a bee dead in a flower garden. It's like they're using Zyklon B, which, footnote, Cyclone B was a cyanide-based pesticide used in the gas chambers of Nazi extermination camps during the Holocaust. <laughs> Back to our regularly scheduled programming. But honestly, it could be worse because there are things that we can do, like planting wildflowers in our gardens to disperse the concrete view. And laws now require more rigor to the testing of pesticides and neurotoxins in the chemicals. Even Congress is on the side of giving sustenance to the bees and funds to beekeeping crews, emphasizing diversity of wildflowers and native species too. Positive mindset is key for we depend on the buzzing guys, depend upon their future and the associated demise of the biodiverse sphere, bees to which are key for the past 130 million years, like an environmental decree. So the next time you swat a bee or think of spraying bee-killing mist, think instead these words, cease and freaking desist.